Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee. Today I'd like to quickly share with you the number one thing I figured out when I opened the doors for my neurofeedback practice. Okay, as you well know, neurofeedback training is kind of like drinking from a fire hose. You learn a lot in a short amount of time. So what happens is you learn a little bit about many, many topics. But when you go back to put that into practice, it can become a little challenging. And I think it creates overwhelm, and in some cases, it may even make someone a little bit dangerous, literally. So what I did was I focused completely on ADHD and anxiety. And there's a few reasons why that really makes sense. And number one is that anxiety and ADHD exist on the opposite sides of the continuum in terms of brain patterns. Secondly, those two things are affecting people in epidemic numbers across our country and across the globe, so there are so many people that need help. Thirdly, it's important to me that that's completely congruent with the people that I want to serve. So it just made sense for me, and it makes sense for many practitioners. Focus on ADHD and anxiety, learn everything you can about them, learn how to communicate about them because anything in between can be filled in. The gaps are easy to fill in. So that's the number one thing that I did that made it so that I could move forward quickly in getting my neurofeedback practice underway. Stay tuned because tomorrow I'm gonna to show you how you can create an office system to be able to teach people easily and quickly under 10 minutes how anxiety and ADHD are created by their brain, how brain mapping works, how neurofeedback works, and how they can learn everything that they need to do to bring themselves back from the struggle. Okay, stay tuned.